हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विवेक परे फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ द मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटलॉर्जी सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल बी गोइंग फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन टू अवर सिलेबस नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द पर्टिक्युलर थिंग मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटलॉर्जी वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्टडीड दैट ईच एंड एवरीथिंग वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन टू डेज वीडियो सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू द सब्जेक्ट इन्क्लूड्स दैट इज द सब्जेक्ट नेम दैट इज द मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटलॉर्जी The subject code according to the board that will be three one three one nine zero four. It comes under the branch of the mechanical and automobile engineering, and it is included in the semester number three. So the course is included for the degree engineering, and it has been given by the Gujarat Technological University. So now let us discuss about the examination pattern of this particular subject. So the credit of this subject is given as a four. Three hours for the theoretical and one hour for the practical purpose. So now going for the theoretical examination, there are two types of the theoretical examinations which are going to be conducted. The first one that is the ESE, that is the end semester examination, which is taken by the board. So it is of the seventy marks. And the second one, it is of the PS, that is the progressive assessment, which is taken of thirty marks. That is, it is included as a mid semester examination. The second portion of the thing that is the practical portion. It is also having the two part that is the ESE that is the viva portion. So the first portion that is your viva in viva it has been taken for the thirty marks and the second one that is the PA portion that is the progressive assessment which will be of the twenty marks. That means how you are going to perform the practicals in the lab. So in short, by taking all these things, there is total one fifty marks are there for this particular subject. So now let us go for the next thing that is the introduction to your syllabus which are the different units which are going to be included in your syllabus the first unit which come that is your introduction to material science and metallurgy this chapter includes the thing means which are the different types of the material how the material has been classified then the how any of the material we have to select then which are the factors which are responsible what are the properties of metals non metals all that thing has been included in your unit number 1 that is introduction to material science and metallurgy the second unit which comes that is about your crystal geometry and crystal imperfection crystal geometry means it includes the different types of the unit cell how the crystal geometry has been created that is the face center cubic body center cubic hexagonal close back all that thing the derivation of the atomic packing factor all that things are included in your crystal geometry part and the second portion goes like this about your crystal imperfection that means which are the different types of the defects which are going to occur inside a crystal of the thing so in this chapter we will be including the crystal geometry and crystal imperfection the third unit that comes that is the metallic material so if you want to go for the material then we have to go for the study about the microstructure of any of the thing or the specimen so how we have to generate that specimen how we will be viewing under the microscope which are the different tastes which are going to be occur that each and everything we will be including in our unit number 3 that is the metallic material the fourth one the fourth unit comes that is the solidification and of theories and alloys so solidification now what do we mean by solidification how any of the liquid is converted into the solid portion so for doing that thing which are the factors which are responsible for the liquid to get converted into the solid so that is included in that portion and in the theories of alloy alloy means a mixture of more than one metal so how they are getting mixed up which are the factors which are responsible because it is not in that way that by mixing any of the two metals they get mixed no it is totally dependent on the different types of the factor so that factors and all the things are included in your theories of alloy the fifth unit that comes that is the phase and the phase equilibrium which are the different phases in a material they are occurring and at what proportion we will be mixing for making the alloy that comes under the phase and the phase equilibrium 
The sixth unit which is considered that is your allotropy of an iron-iron carbon equilibrium diagram. It is the most important topic of your material science and metallurgy because it is regarding about the iron and iron is one of the major engineering applications used nowadays in the world. So how the iron is behaving how the cast iron and steel are prepared at which temperature and percentage of carbon we are going to get different phase of the iron that all the things has been included in your unit number six that is your allotropy of an iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram then the seventh unit which comes that is about your ttt diagram there are certain disadvantages of your iron carbon diagram that has been improved by the ttt diagram that is time temperature transformation diagram and steel steel always require any of the heat treatment processes for the improvement of its properties so by applying which of the thing or the treatment how we can increase that properties of the steel that is included in this chapter that is your unit number 7 ttt diagram and the heat treatment of the steel it comes the powder metallurgy so Whenever we are using any metal in the form of the powder for that particular purpose, we will be going for this powder metallurgy because powder metallurgy has a certain advantages of some properties like strength and all. For that thing, we will be going for this powder metallurgy. Ninth unit, it consists of the non-destructive testing. So non-destructive testing are that type of the testing in which we are doing a testing on the material without any damage. So for that we will be seeing different methods, how it is carried out and on which things we will be applying these non-destructive testing methods. And the last unit considered of the syllabus that is about the corrosion of metal and alloy. Corrosion is one of the major problem which a world is facing. So how the corrosion is occurring, which are the different types of the corrosions which are going to there, that is included in this corrosion chapter so now let us see about the different percentage distribution that how the percentage distributed is there in the gtu syllabus so according to the percentage distribution your unit number one that is about the eight percentage and major of the unit it includes about the ten percentage average you can see that unit number two is also having the ten percentage unit three ten percentage unit four that is about the solidification and theory of alloy that is about the twelve percentage Unit number 5 is also for the 10 percentage. The most important topic of the allotropy of iron that is about the 12 percentage and the heat treatment of the steel that is for the 14 percentage. Other than that powder and NDT they are for the 10 10 percentage and lastly corrosion is of the 4 percentage. So in this way normally approximately 10 percentage has been distributed to overall syllabus of the MSM subject. Now what is the importance of this subject? Why we are going for this subject? Let us go for the thing. The first one that is in the earlier days people used to travel or they used to transport the goods from one place to another by the bullock carts and all that thing. But due to the advancement in the material and all, we can see that nowadays people and the goods has been transformed, the cargo has been transferred by the aeroplanes also. That means there is a major changes occurring in the material and as a result of which we can see that from a one thing we have advanced to some another level. Let us take the second example. In an earlier day, the people used to construct their houses with the help of the brick and sand and all that thing. But nowadays, we are going for the modern technologies and different types of the houses. A new type of the designs has been possible because of the flexibility of the material. And the third one, in the earlier days, there were a computer which consists of the whole room. And nowadays we can see due to the advancement we are having the tablet also that means the same thing which we can do in that particular computer of the whole room has been transformed into a small type of the tablet. So this all the things has been done because and because of the possibility of the new types of the materials which are developed by the human beings. So now where is the application of this subject? This subject has been applied in all the things which we can see around earth but for a particular application application we can see that the submarine they are also made up of the perfect types of the material which are used so submarine is a best example of the material advancement then the second one that will be the bridges we can go for the bridge that are made up of for this particular thing that is the advancement in the material the rocket or you can say aerospace industries is also the best example where a different types of the material are used and the last one that is for the missiles and the tanks that means for the defense purpose also 
we can go for that thing so how this application is done on the particular subject we are using this thing because we are knowing about the different types of the properties and how we can use this properties as a for the material and for the application of the subject so in this whole subject we will be going like this the properties and the correlation between the application so this was all about your introductory session for the subject that is known as the material science and metallurgy thank you